or more sometimes when i wake up in the morning like i'll be like jesus <laughs> i i'm not sure this is how i did to my mother hey guys hello people it's your girl k to the o to the f to the o and you're welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new here don't forget to subscribe if i don't forget don't even this trend is forget to subscribe just subscribe right now click the subscribe button down below i'm happy to have you in my family here if you're not new don't forget to like share and comment today i would like to talk about being a stay-at-home mom so as you know now i gave birth like six months ago i gave birth december last year until now i've been a stay-at-home mom i've been at home but um, contrary to people's opinion, it's not what people think oh, that as a stay-at-home mom, just sitting down, just doing nothing. <laughs> um, uh, it's not a small something. Taking care of a baby, eh, is more than nine to five. Oh, it's like the toughest job I've ever had to do in my life. Because I've done a series of jobs, you understand. I've done in the entertainment. I've done, I've done nine to five. But um, uh, this one is like the toughest ever. First of all, after postpartum, postpartum recovery, that recovery is not even finished safe. That one, I'll, I'll make a video on that one on postpartum. Postpartum recovery, trying to care for yourself, trying to care for the baby. Ah, but then let me just remember. Those women I used to, after giving birth, they would go and return to work like that. <laughs> Double saluto, because what? It's not easy. Eh? Why do you even think that people from people that they give maternity leave when they come back from maternity leave that you feel like they would have relaxed, they would have they would just looking exhausted and all because some more is crazy out there. I mean in here, you understand. Ranging from the from the um sleepless nights when you wake up in the morning like this. Almost sometimes when I wake up in the morning like this, I'll be like, Jesus. <laughs> I, I'm not sure this is how I did to my mother because some nights like this, my people will not just sleep. She sleeps anytime she wants. Sometimes, apart from night feed, say, sometimes she just wants to wake up for you to just play with her. And I don't have any choice. Anytime my baby is awake, I must be awake. If I, even if I'm in, uh, how many distance of sleep, I have to wake up anytime my baby is awake. You understand that kind of thing. But in the morning like this, when you wake up like this, I'm already exhausted because maybe I didn't sleep all three nights. My baby likes to sleep in the morning anytime she did not really sleep during the night. So she wakes up in the morning. She, sorry, she sleeps in the morning then me i like to sleep anytime my baby is sleeping because i feel like that's the best thing and sometimes if i will not be able to sleep in the morning like that because <clears throat> because I, I need to put one or two things together in the house like i need to eat because you know my baby eats for me and i need to eat so that my baby will see something to eat. because if i did not eat and my baby is eating for me that means somebody's going to faint to omo and you don't want anybody no no fainting situation here but after the morning now after trying to get something to eat i would have been tired and exhausted i mean i was still trying to check up on things that are going on <laughs> yes still trying to check up on things that are going on in the world because of course uh -uh, i cannot be backward now i still try to check up on things that are going on in the world sorry i'm holding my stuff because my baby is not <laughs> then after that i still try to up up update my knowledge with some online classes anytime my baby wakes up from this her morning nap morning sleep morning nap like this i have to be awake with her i have to play with her i have to i have to give her my full attention 100 percent attention otherwise you know because of our brain development i i need to be able to engage her i need to be able to and all these things she cannot do them by herself those are the things that they do for them at the daycare so i'm like the nanny at the daycare in my house and i still i'm like still like the house help i still do house chores and all of those so by the end of the day it's like i'm always exhausted i feel like this is the best option for me all. so when i'm like over six months ahead then i can now start getting things to do because <clears throat> because even now say if i need to go and do something i need to be dragging and like i need to go around with her and to go around with my baby i know so i cannot take her to daycare right now because she's still <laughs> because she's still less than six months she's trying to show him my video she still has her six months and i'm not really of the approval of taking a baby less than six months to take care 
So maybe after, after six months now, I can start taking her to the daycare. I can start doing, like, going to work proper, proper. Because, of course, income must be earned. <laughs> income must be earned. I beg. I don't tire. <laughs> See you guys in my next video. <laughs> my baby is distracting me, man. I beg. I don't tire. My baby is distracting me. See you guys in my next video. Bye! <laughs>